All right, YouTube. This story is quite, quite cringe. Let's get right into it. So, I don't know if you checked out my other stories regarding this specific person. Let me give them a different name to protect their identity. So, let me think. Um, Let's call him Jake, right? So, this person, Jake, in my other stories, I mentioned that he was one of my stalkers and me and my friend stalker, but he mainly stalked me and he was obsessive of me. So he went to my college, but he ended up transferring out towards the end, thankfully. So this was one period of time, or this was a time where I had a final exam for one of my classes. And this final exam was in the library building on my campus. There were a lot of classes that happened in that building, and my class at the time was in the basement floor of that building. It was like the basement in the corner. So it's not typically a room you would happen to pass by unless you're wandering around the library for some weird reason or unless you're trying to find a really secluded spot at the library. So, Jake, or let me first give a little picture of this whole scenario. So, this class, the door was open, uh, but it's not like it's going to be loud outside of the classroom uh, or any really any other disturbances outside of the classroom because it's a library. So it was angled in a weird way considering it was in the corner, uh, this room. So being an outsider, meaning a person outside of the room, it would look kind of like the room is either empty uh, or if you look at it at a different angle, it looks like there would only be like one, two few people in the room. So I happen to be a person who was closer to the door at the time, so it looked as if it was maybe only me and or uh, the few people next to me. So Jake, he, a little background if you didn't watch the other videos about him, is he believed that I would be president. And he would assign different cabinets, uh, different positions in the cabinet and like, you know what I mean, the whole... Uh, different levels of government um, for my friends. So I had another friend he claimed would be Secretary of State or Secretary of Defense or Secretary of Ag Agriculture, Vice President, etc. Right? Uh, and this person, Jake, seemed as if he had autism, but not only autism, but I could tell he probably had like early psychosis or schizophrenia starting to de develop uh, or something crazy. Uh, he, he, he was out of it, not like fully, fully out of it, but like out of it to a point where it was like questionable whether or not he should continue going to college, um, or at the very least questionable for him to be allowed to live on campus or not. But so he ran into the classroom, not like ran into it, but like quickly stumbled in and was like, John J. Michael IV for president. John J. Michael's a savage. John J. Michael. And then the professor looked at him. And this is like an older kind of professor, probably in his late 60s, early 70s, something like that. And this professor happens to be the head of my major. So this kid, Jake, doing that scene after people or everyone is stopped and looked and stared at him. And without the professor saying anything, like Josh said, I mean, crap, I accidentally said his real name. Jake said, sorry, oh, oh, sorry, uh... And then the professor said, uh, you need to leave. There's an exam, final exam happening right now. And he's like, oh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't know. And then he quickly left. 
So ever since then, my professor thought I was, I could tell, probably thought I was quite weird and strange, which he's not wrong, but I'm not weird and strange to the level he probably was thinking. I never really chose to associate with this stalker. So uh, that was funny, weird, interesting, uncomfortable experience. Uh, and that made me look quite weird, not only to the professor, but to the rest of the people in the class. Yay. But that's fine. Whatever. So I hope you liked that story. I didn't exactly like when it happened, but looking back on it, I find it was quite entertaining. Check out my other stories. I have quite weird stuff that has happened in my life. Like and subscribe, please. Check out my music too. Check out every content that I've made. All right. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.